Good evening, one and all. You join us for this 5-5 between West Indies and Scotland. I'm Adam Gilchrist, and joining me for what should be an exciting contest is Michael Atherton, Mel Jones, and the one and only Ali Mitchell. Looking forward to this one. It should be a cracking game. Thanks, Alison. It looks like the captains are ready for the toss. Let's go pitch side. Interesting decision. The pitch really looks like there'll be something early for the bowlers, but the captain's asking the openers to get the pads on. OK, everything looks set to get this match underway. The new ball will get some movement, and the openers are going to have to be wary of that. Wow, that's missed a lot. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. The new batter always likes to feel bad on ball as they bring a bit of nervous energy to the wicket. Got that away nicely. The gap was left open for them and they were happy to oblige. Picked it early, got into position well, and punched it to the boundary. Matthews, I don't think, will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Massive outside edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Edged. End of the over. Six runs coming from it. Scotland are six for none. Fraser, the right arm medium bowler, is coming into the attack from the scoreboard end. Couldn't get it through the field. Square driving through the gap. Classic shot for four. You can't fault the bowling. Sometimes your opponent is just too good. Wonderful front foot shot, and there was no point chasing that. Boundary last ball, what's to come this delivery, I wonder? Huge edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Thick edge. Nearly got through them, just got onto it in time, and with enough bat speed to pick up four.
Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket's going to come. Misses everything. Over Scotland, 15 for none. They're off to a great start. Batters timing the ball well, and the bowlers look a little bit rattled. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Doesn't beat the infield. No, 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 terrible shot. Massive appeal. Might have just been missing, though. Oh, whack. Pick the bones out of that. It's gone for a maximum. Just missed the line. Not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watch that in awe. End of the over, seven off it. Scotland, 22 for none. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Bowl. Oh, no luck at all there on that one. The trudge back to the pavilion. A disappointing display in the end for someone with such batting skills. This one goes down as a fail. And with that wicket, we'll see a change out in the middle. The task here will be that of support and getting themselves settled into their innings. Clicks that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Solid shot, that's going for four. Caress that nicely through the gap to the boundary. That last ball isn't something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs. Onto the front foot, super shot, should be four. Well, you sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well-timed, and four runs. Matthews shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots. Just need to tighten their areas now. Can't get that outside the ring field. Eight runs out of there. Scotland, a 30 for one. pace bowler is coming into the attack from the bridge end.
Great shot. Pulled straight to backward square leg, though. Caught. Thought that was sailing over, but grabbed right on the boundary. Simple as you like. The batter didn't bother to look at more than one delivery in that over. An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Great shot, through the gap. You just can't hit it any better than that. Beautiful shot, no chance at all for the fielders. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Huge edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Oh my, that's racing away. That showed great skill. Lovely timing. The boundary was the only place that ball was heading. And the innings comes to an end. West Indies will need 40 runs. I think the openers are going to be pretty confident coming out to bat. It's a small total to chase down, and this should be comfortable. The bowlers are going to have to need a bit of luck. Here we go. Coming in for the first ball. A oh, nice glance off the pads. No stopping that one. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot. This delivery just needs to be pitched up on length. Too short. And you're going to get punished on this pitch. Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. Massive outside edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. but it drops safely. Finds the edge. That's a confident appeal.
gone. Fine catch. Such a disappointment. A lot of people here at the ground would have been looking forward to seeing this innings. As it is, they've got to walk back, barely troubling the scorers. The right armour is coming on to bowl from the bridge end. Beautiful timing there off the front foot. It's racing away. The fielder out in the deep has some serious work to cut it off. I didn't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. They just need to keep the ball in the right areas and the rewards will come. Misses. How did that not hit? Straight to the fielder. Oh, my, my, that's just flown off the middle. That's just silly. The power on that shot is incredible. That's the sort of shot you want to see at a cricket match. Gach Nabi has gotten the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Oh, whack. Pick the bones out of that. It's gone for a maximum. Just missed the line. Not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watched that in awe. Gach Nabi is starting to really get on top of this bowling. May need a few changes to halt the momentum. Jeez, time that well. Ers on the side of bowling slightly fuller and they've been put away. Well, that was a struggle, getting smacked all over the park. Mark Sood, the spinner, coming into the attack. Brilliant shot. That's one for the crowd. Well, that ball has been hit. It's flown into the crowd. To get that much power coming forward onto the front foot is just ridiculous. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Whacked away. Hit that so hard. Pressed forward, got the body shape right and launched it. One for the textbook. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important, just focus on getting the next delivery right. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. He's quick onto that in the infield. Nicked it. And that marks the end of the match. The West Indies have taken.
in the victory. The batting side has fallen short by none. Thank you very much for joining us here for this match. It's a massive win. Chased it down with ease and not losing many wickets either. Yeah, like most lowish totals, you need Wigbox. Hope to see you again very soon.